Peg from Fly Carpen. Today we're going to tie my foam trouser worm. List of ingredients. We're going to start with some flat waxed red nylon, some scorpion gaper size 6 hooks, and some 3.25 millimeter black brass beads. I'm going to go ahead and put on a, bre a, a brass bead in the classical orientation with the tapered hole facing aft. Build a thread base going backwards past the hook point. And we're going to add a, a, a number six stainless bead chain eye just above the hook point. I'll figure that eight, figure eight that on. You'll notice that the barb is pinched on this hook. You can't even get the brass bead on if you don't pinch the barb with this hook. It's a very uh, heavy gauge hook. Okay, we've uh, put our eyes on. We're going to work the thread back well down the hook bend matter of fact all the way until it starts to to bend back forward and we're going to add some 15 pound red amnesia this is going to be about an 8 inch long length of amnesia and we're going to over wrap it working forward we're going to work our thread all the way back behind the bead chain eyes and then back down the bend of the hook it's going to build us a little bit of a body at the same time that it's latching down the amnesia I'm going to make a foam tail. Start with some big fly thread, red. I'm going to double the thread, tie a double surgeon's loop, and tighten it down. Then I'm going to tie another double surgeon's over the same knot, tighten it down, and trim it. That's going to be our stopper knot. I'm going to add an extra small glass bead, a 2.7 millimeter black brass bead, in the order shown. I'm going to take some UV knot sense and kind of glue these two beads and the stopper knot together. And the final cured end will look like that. Okay, now we're going to make 14 foam beads with a 1 8 inch hole punch. And we're going to pre pierce these beads with a bodkin. That will kind of help you get the hole centered. And we're going to string them on a needle. and then transfer the beads onto our thread that already has our plug on the end and we have a finished tail and we're going to add the tail onto the fly we're going to tie it on down towards the end of our thread body with a pretty substantial gap between the hook shank and the first foam plug work our thread forward now we're going to adjust that gap so if you fold over some of this foam you'll have an eighth of an inch feeler gauge if you will you can tighten it up and get about the right gap on the aft end and then fold the thread back and uh, wrap it back down the shank a little bit that'll keep it from sliding anymore then we're going to <coughs> do the body with the red amnesia wrap the body Start with one wrap, work it just a little forward, wrap again, and um, keep on wrapping all the way to behind the bead chain eyes. And in just a second here, I'm going to go into fast forward. All right. Once again, work it all the way to behind the bead chain. Take one or two wraps to latch it down behind the bead chain with your thread and we're going to pull it forward and latch it down behind the brass bead I'm going to go ahead and trim the amnesia and finish the head section with two whip finishes and uh, <laughs> got a bit of a thread blow up on this example. You have to be careful to not hit the holes in the bead chain eye with your thread when you're doing this is what happened to me on this particular fly. But it's double wrapped, it's double whipped, that fly is strong. Okay now we're going to show some bathtub video, show kind of what this fly looks like in the water. I've updated this fly to have the brass bead all the way on the end of the tail. That adds a little bit of weight 
it gives the tail just a little bit more action. All right. So last kind of couple of directions moving away from us. Pretty interesting looking. Nice action. And not a swim. <laughs>